Hi, welcome to pickmeproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of optimization of resource provisioning cost in cloud computing under the domain of cloud computing. Generally, cloud computing is the service oriented computing process in this one based on the pay per use technology. So, the cloud computing basic scenarios are the time and cost. So, in this process, we have to reduce the timing of the resource provisioning and also reduce the cost of the resource provisioning. To achieve this, we have to use the cloud consumers can utilize the resources using two types of provisioning plans. One is for on-demand and another one is reservation. So reservation provisioning will reduce the cost for user. OCRP algorithm will provide multiple provisioning levels. OCRP will provide a Uniqlo customer's ID for individual cloud consumers. It will be used to, to classify the customers for a long time. The virtual machine scheduling will follow the priority scheduling by using the reservation contract. For this one, we have to use the four types of algorithm to achieve a very less amount of resource utilization. So here the first one is the priority scheduling and second one is stochastical computation then third one is the provisioning cost then the final one is the vendor's decomposition under provisioning and over provisioning conditions will be rectified from the OCRP to achieve the lesser cost and the best quality of service next we see the flow of optimization of resource provisioning cost in cloud computing in this process first we need to select the services type to utilize the services so next we have to check the on demand or reservation which one is the requested type so if it is the reservation is the selected type means we have to provide the provisioning reservation plan so in this reservation plan will contain the number of virtual machines uh, availabilities and number of service availabilities and the starting ending durations uh, such like extra items to reserve some resources Next we get the expanding time for resources from the user side to utilize the resources. So if the resources available in this duration means we have to allocate the resource to the user. We have to redirect the user to choose the another one duration. So next we have to analyze the scheduling plan based on provisioning scheduling. So the provisioning scheduling will be based on the priority scheduling criteria to mention the starting date in the reservation plan. Next we have to observation of cost for the initial payment based on provisioning cost plan. Next we have to receive the on-demand request or the resource utilization request from the user based on on-demand or reservation technique. Next we have to check the resource availability for the resource utilization. If the resource is available means utilization of resources is produced. Next we have to compute the minimized cost based on stochastical computation. For this one, we have to use the vendor's decomposition method to solve the stochastical problem. Next, we have to hit the overall expanded cost for the resource utilization. Next, we are going to see the complete demo of optimization resource provisioning cost in non cloud computing. For this one, we have two sides one is the server side, and another one is the client side. First we need to run the server side to invoke the server. For this one, server having the all the services. First I have to start services to the server. So next I have to run the client side home.java. So in this one, I have to enter into the cloud computing environment by pressing this cloud icon. So the customer ID will be automated generated from the server side. Next it having a login portion to login the existing customers to the cloud environment. Else if you are a new customer means we need to provide a name on demand and the one for reservation. If I choose the reservation means there is a one reservation plan will be shown. So in this reservation plan first we need to select the services for we going to be used. 
Next I have to choose the plan type. Here I have to choose the days plan for the demo. Next we need to choose the duration of the starting ending date. For this one the total cost will be shown here. This is based on the provisioning cost computation. It will be computed by using the number of services we have to reserve and the size of services we have to reserve and the which plan type we have to select. So if you provide the amount means there is a submit button will be shown. So the submit process will be submitted to the cloud server for our request. So now our reservation plan will be accepted and our reservation will be allocated to the virtual machine 2 and virtual machine 1 and virtual machine 1 during that gap 4-3-2013 to 4-7-2013 Next we need to schedule the virtual machine processes for this new plans For this one I have to choose the individual virtual machine to scheduling First I have to schedule the virtual machine 1 based on the starting date which is mentioned in that all the reservation plan Next I have to choose the virtual machine 2 to schedule So it's also scheduled by using the starting date mentioned in that reservation plan Next I have to move to the next level. This is the time monitoring level. It will be based on the vendor's decomposition process. That process will be computed the cost of the resource utilization for each user. So the time monitored up to the current date. Next the cost will be computed for the current users. The cost computed up to the current date. Next we move to the next level. It will be shown the which are the IDs or uses the resources and the type of the services and the size of the service they have to utilize and the lost data they have to pay okay, and the lost amount of data have to pay. Next we have to choose the on-demand or reservation request for the resource utilization. Here I have to choose the reservation and I need to log in that account. Here I have to provide the Username and their ID and login to the account. Now the login successfully. Next, I have to check the utilization cost during this time. So, for this moment, I have to yet not, I have to use that any of the resources. So, my cost will be the 0 0.0. Next, I have to for the resource removing process. So here I have to choose the removing and we by using this removing option I have to reduce the size or reduce the date and I have to reduce the services. It will be used to, to under the condition of over provisioning. Next I have to choose the services for the utilization. Next I have to click the start. Your service will be provided shortly. Next I move to the utilization. So here I have to enter into the cloud to upload the files. So first I have to choose that one file to upload to the server side. For this one I have to choose one of the documents. So this is the exceeding size from our reserved portion. So I have to choose the one of the correct file to upload the process. So here I have to choose that. x3 span so this is the last level so i have to produce the cost of zero next i have to upload this file to the client server so my file will be stored in the file system on that same time the server side the message will be shown your file received in server side successfully so next the server waiting for receive the another file next i have to choose the another one file for the database uploading for this one first I have to choose the crawler.sql so this is the cost will be the 0 0.051 Main 7. Next, I have to click the OK button. Next, I have to upload this file and it will be stored in the database. 
the file will be received in that server side successfully. From this one next we have to proceed the evaluation phase. So by using this process we have to achieve that services in the reduced cost level. So by using this graph we have to know the cost level will be varied from on demand and reservation duration. So this is our achievement for our process. So this will be reduced for the three of the services. Thank you. Thank you for watching.